Hey, what's up guys? Lucas. So today we're going to be doing some more photo editing in uh, Lightroom 4. And uh, we'll just go ahead and dive right in. So um, this is just a very standard silhouette photo. I was lucky enough to catch uh, two birds. That's pretty cool. Kind of makes the photo. Um, so what I'm going to do, like I do normally, is go in and uh, I'll do a reset on this photo. And there you go. So basically it was just a gray day. Um, nothing really special in the sky. So um, for me, I really like to take and bring color to these, you know, sort of dreary, you know, gray days. Um, and I have some presets over here that are really fun quickly jump through them so this is a bright green like a Hulk green or something um, so I just really like making solid colors um, in my photos and then obviously this is the one that we just saw and then this is a orange color and this is very simple to do you just go ahead and you adjust all your sliders over here however you want them and then you come over to the left hand side and you're gonna see presets and you're gonna see a plus and then also a minus if you want to delete this one um, and you just go ahead and hit, hit the plus put a title um, and this is all the adjustments I made all this in here um, and then you hit create and then you have a preset so for me what I can do is I can go ahead and um, go ahead and choose a different photo so I can show you so this is the same kind of photo gray sky got some birds over here and so the presets um, are gonna work perfectly for the for this photo um, and you can actually see up in the left hand side here whenever I put my cursor over the or my mouse over the preset then it shows me what it's going to be so there's that orange again it doesn't work perfectly for this one I can already tell um, so you might have to go in and do a little bit of touch up and then here's the blue and that one's almost perfect I really like that it's kind of dreary kind of dreamy looking um, that's really cool and then the green that works also and these little dots are all birds over here so that looks kinda cool alright but let's get back to our um, main photo that we're gonna be working on today um, so this is all just taking photography and making it really really artistic like taking it to the um, sort of to like the extreme um, well, not the extreme. You could go further than this. You could go a lot further. But it is, you know, definitely not the way um, I captured it. But that's the thing I really like about photography. Room and basically paint whatever you want over it. Um, and I don't use Photoshop, so it's not like it's, you know, a fake. Um, photo where things are cropped in and cut out of other things um, which I wouldn't mind getting into later on but for now I have Lightroom alright so we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in I'll show you all my um, adjustments so I go up to the top here to the temperature and that's really where you can you know make your photo um, different colors so you can go ahead and just um, start adjusting and really it's all about just looking at the photo and seeing how um, seeing how the colors work for you alright so that looks good I like the colors there and then we're just gonna come down the sliders here and uh, I'm gonna bring some exposure about like that and then I'm going to bring contrast. I want contrast to be at 100 for this photo. 
because I really want the black with the color to just be totally contrasting. Okay. Then we're going to come down to the shadow because I want all the shadows and all the black to be as dark as possible. So we're going to go negative. See, as I went negative, you can see all the blacks just got really good dark blacks and obviously they're shadowing over the tree branches so they're going to go black. And then we're going to um, bring up the white balance because we want the photo to be a little bit brighter because we're going to start to darken it. Bring our blacks all the way down. Once again, we're just trying to get the solid silhouette. Um, and then the vibrancy in this photo will not work um, because there was no original color. But the saturation does work. Bring out a little bit more color in our artificial color. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing down here to our darks because we want them to really be as black as they can be. So we come in here and you can see the birds are now fully silhouetted. We have a lot of noise which we're going to deal with next. So we come down to our noise and we're going to pump our noise to um, I'm thinking about 70. It'll all depend on your photo. If you shot it right, <laughs> you should have less noise. Um, it's all about adjusting the ISO, and I'm not the best at doing that. So I come in here, and you can get in real close, and you can see um, we can really pump the noise up because we're not dealing with detail. When you're dealing with detail, and cloud formation you don't want to do a lot of noise reduction or if you do you want to um, really watch out because you could affect your photo dramatically in a negative way I think I have a little scratch on my lens and that's what that is because in a lot of photos I see that same exact mark I think there's a little ding in the lens but that's clear all right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and come down here, and I always like to click this, and you, if you look, there you go. The photo adjusted a little bit um, to deal with my my lens so it corrects the uh, lens a little bit and that's always good okay so now we're gonna come down here and this is where we're gonna get into the really you know artistic um, part of the photo so you can adjust your red um, your reds and greens and blues down here and this will color your photo basically um, so and then if you double click on the the hue or the saturation or any of these style or amount it will bring it back to the, the zero where it started originally um, so we're gonna go ahead and add some positive on this one here to about 29 and um, you know you're just gonna adjust it and you're gonna look and you're gonna adjust it and look and um, you know get it to the way the way your eye likes it and then for this photo the green I'm not really gonna adjust because it's perfect the way it is um, but then the blue down here is when it gets pushed over to a hundred and that's really gonna give us that baby blue look that I'm kind of going for and then we'll give it some saturation. All right, so there you go. That is the fully edited photo. So now you can see how I went from the raw photo um, to this. 
Also, I should mention I shoot all my photos in RAW so that when you shoot them in RAW for file format, um, then when you bring them into Lightroom, you can do all this color adjustment and all this, you know, adjustment a lot easier. If you shoot in JPEG, then you're going to limit your ability to um, edit your photos. So if you're shooting your photos just to post on the internet and not edit, then you shoot in JPEG. If you're shooting your photos to edit in Lightroom or Photoshop, then you want to shoot in RAW. Um, and RAW files are just, they're bigger, they hold a lot more data and allow you to do so much more. It's uh, quite amazing. I actually once accidentally had my, my camera set to JPEG because I was just shooting a couple photos that I was just going to post right away and I forgot to change it back and I edited a few photos and I kept saying why 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 is it so limited it, you know because my photos were not coming out right and then the next day I looked in my camera and found that I hadn't set it back to raw so that was kind of funny okay so then go ahead and take a look at it that way and I'm gonna title this one together at last and uh, I will post this on 500px I'll post it on Google Plus so I already posted it here and you can see it there and then I posted it on 500px here and then I will post it on Stream Zoo. It will be on Instagram and Tumblr, and it will eventually be on Pinterest. And yep, that's about it. So there you go. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos, subscribe. And if you have any sort of questions about Lightroom 4, um, post them and I will read them and I'll make another video to help you out. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll check you later.